You know, our five three family of SLMs are the most capable and most cost effective. They outperform models of the same size or the next size up even across a variety of language, reasoning, coding, as well as math benchmarks. The tech world is buzzing with excitement over the new pocket models that are shaking up the industry. These compact yet powerful devices are set to revolutionize the way we interact with technology, making AI more accessible and versatile than ever before. But how exactly are these tiny marvels changing the game? Let's find out. Microsoft's breakthrough in building handy models. Research at Microsoft has shown that it is possible to make AI models small enough to work on phones or laptops. This is important because usually, AI models need a lot of computing power, which is why they often run on powerful servers rather than on smaller devices. But by making these AI models smaller, Microsoft can ensure that they still perform well without losing their ability to think and make decisions. This means that even though the AI is running on a less powerful device, like a phone or laptop, it can still do its job effectively. Microsoft's research suggests a future where powerful AI is more accessible and can be used in more places, giving people new and exciting ways to benefit from advanced technology in their everyday lives. When ChatGPT was first released in November 2023, it could only be used through the cloud. This was because the model behind it was extremely large and required a lot of computing power. People needed powerful servers to run it, so it wasn't something you could just run on a personal computer. Today, things have changed a lot. You can now run an AI program with similar capabilities on a MacBook Air, which is a small and lightweight laptop. This AI program runs smoothly on the MacBook Air and doesn't even cause the laptop to get warm. This is a big improvement from the early days when ChatGPT needed so much power. This change shows how quickly researchers are making AI models better. They are finding ways to make these models smaller and more efficient without losing their capabilities. It also shows that making AI smarter doesn't always mean making the models bigger. Instead, researchers are focusing on refining and optimizing the models to work better with less power. An example of a model you can use on your laptop which has the smartness and wit similar to ChatGPT, is the Phi 3 Mini. This model is part of a group of smaller AI models that researchers at Microsoft recently released. Microsoft announced this new model, called Phi 3, at their annual developer conference called Build. What's special about Phi 3 is that it's a multimodal model, which means it can handle different types of content like audio, video, and text. This makes it very versatile and useful for various tasks. The announcement of Phi 3 came just a few days after other major companies, like OpenAI and Google, also introduced their own new AI assistants. These assistants are also built on top of multimodal models and can be accessed through the cloud. Phi 3 Mini is designed to be small, compact, and lightweight, which means it can run smoothly on a smartphone. This allows users to have advanced AI capabilities right in their pocket, making it convenient to access and use anytime, anywhere. Besides smartphones, Phi 3 Mini has also been tested and proven to work on laptops. You can use it on your computer for more powerful tasks, benefiting from the larger screen and potentially more computing power of a laptop. If you have an iPhone, you can access Phi 3 Mini through an app called Enchanted, this app provides a chat interface similar to the official ChatGPT app. It lets you interact with Phi 3 Mini easily, asking questions, getting assistance, and performing various tasks directly from your iPhone. Phi 3 Mini's versatility makes it a powerful tool for users across different devices. In a paper about the Phi 3 family of models, Microsoft's researchers explain that the Phi 3 Mini model is very impressive. They say it compares well to GPT 3.5, which is the OpenAI model that powered the first release of ChatGPT. This comparison is based on tests that measure how good the models are at common sense and reasoning. The researchers use several standard AI benchmarks for this comparison. These benchmarks are tests designed to see how well the models understand and process information. According to the results, Phi 3 Mini performs just as well as GPT 3.5 on these tests. This means that Phi 3 Mini is very capable and can handle tasks that require understanding and reasoning similar to GPT 3.5.
This is significant because GPT-3.5 is known for its advanced abilities to generate human-like text and understand context. For Phi 3 Mini to match its performance shows that it is a strong and efficient model, capable of delivering high-quality results in various applications. The Phi family of AI models. The Phi family of AI models gives us some important insights into the nature of modern AI and how we might make it even better. Sebastian Bubeck, a researcher at Microsoft who worked on the project, shared some interesting details about this. The models in the Phi family, including Phi 3, were created to see if being more careful about the data used to train an AI system could improve its abilities. Instead of feeding the AI every piece of data available, they wanted to see if selecting only the most useful and relevant information could make the AI smarter and more efficient. This approach is similar to teaching a student by giving them only the best books and lessons instead of overwhelming them with everything ever written. By focusing on high quality and relevant data, the AI can learn to reason better, understand more deeply, and perform tasks more accurately. The idea is that this selective training can fine tune the AI's abilities, making it better at understanding and processing information. This could lead to AI systems that are not just powerful, but also more precise and reliable in how they handle different tasks. However, big language models like OpenAI's GPT-4 or Google's Gemini usually get fed tons of text from books, websites, and almost anywhere else you can find words. Even though this has led to some legal questions about privacy and copyright, OpenAI and other companies have discovered that giving these models more text to learn from, along with using more powerful computers to train them, can make them even better and do more things. Imagine if you wanted to learn how to play a new game. The more you read about it and practice, the better you become at playing. It's similar to these big language models. The more text they read and learn from, the smarter they become at understanding and responding to questions or tasks. Last September, Bubeck and his team embarked on an experiment to find out if choosing the right data could make a model better without needing lots of training data. They took a model that was much smaller than OpenAI's GPT-3.5, about 1 17th of its size. Then they trained this smaller model using synthetic data that was as good as what you'd find in a textbook. This synthetic data was created by a bigger AI model and included facts from different areas, like programming. The result was surprising. Even though the model was much smaller, it showed some amazing abilities. They found that it could outperform GPT-3.5 in coding tasks using this technique. This discovery was unexpected for them. It showed that size doesn't always matter when it comes to AI models. Even smaller models can sometimes do big things especially when trained with high-quality data. Bubeck's group at Microsoft has found some interesting things using a new approach to training AI models. In one experiment, they took a very small AI model and fed it children's stories. Surprisingly, this tiny model was able to produce consistently coherent and understandable output. This is unusual because AI programs of such a small size usually produce nonsense when trained regularly. This experiment showed that even a small AI can be very useful if it is trained with the right kind of material. Instead of using complex and large datasets, they use simple and clear stories meant for children. This special training made the small AI model work much better than expected. Benefits of small models. According to Bubeck, making future AI systems smarter will involve more than just making them bigger. It looks like smaller, scaled down models like Phi 3 will play an important role in the future of computing. Running AI models locally on devices like smartphones, laptops, or PCs has several advantages. First, it reduces latency, which is the delay that can happen when your device has to communicate with the cloud to process information. It also reduces the risk of outages, which are times when the cloud service might be down or unavailable. Another big advantage is that your data stays on your device, this means better privacy and security because your information isn't being sent over the internet to the cloud. This local processing can enable new uses for AI that aren't possible with cloud-based models. For example, AI could be more deeply integrated into a device's operating system, making it more efficient and responsive for everyday tasks. AI could become even more helpful on your phone or laptop, 
assisting with tasks like scheduling, reminders, and managing emails more efficiently without needing to connect to a remote server. Smaller AI models could help people with disabilities by providing real-time assistance, such as voice-to-text conversion, language translation, or navigation help directly on their personal devices. There is also a speed advantage. With AI running directly on your phone or laptop, tasks can be completed faster because there's no need to wait for data to travel to and from a remote server. Smaller AI models can also work without needing an internet connection, which is useful in areas with poor connectivity or for people who need to work offline. Now, Apple is expected to reveal its highly anticipated AI strategy at its WWDC conference next month. Apple has previously highlighted that its custom hardware and software are designed to allow machine learning to happen directly on its devices. This means that instead of relying heavily on cloud computing, AI processes can be handled locally on iPhones, iPads, and Macs. Unlike companies like OpenAI and Google, which are building increasingly larger AI models that run on powerful cloud servers, Apple might take a different approach. Instead of competing to create the biggest and most complex AI systems, Apple might focus on making AI smaller and more efficient so it can operate on personal devices that fit in people's pockets. This could provide users with powerful AI capabilities without needing large and expensive cloud infrastructure, making AI more personal and immediate. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.